I've gone ahead and covered the entire armature with tape. The reason that I do that is because it makes it easier to stuff the doll when the whole thing is covered in tape because the metal is smooth and the stuffing slides around a lot and you want to keep the armature in the middle of the arms and the legs and the body and not push towards the back or the front. So I find it makes it slightly easier. You don't have to cover it if you don't want to, but that's just my personal preference. So the next step is to make holes so that we can go ahead and put the armature inside. Now I want to show you something first. And keeping in mind <clears throat> keeping in mind that this tutorial is designed so that you can do it on any cloth doll pattern, not just the one that I have. So my doll has an opening here inside in the thigh. Some doll patterns might have the opening. Oh, actually, you know what? See the toes? Big toes? Yep. Here's the opening. It's on the outside, but that's just an arbitrary place where I left the hole. Some, some um, patterns might have at the bottom of the foot or up here somewhere or, I don't know, over here. It, it just depends. Again, these hands are different because they're going to be like little mitten hands. I'm going to sew the fingers. They aren't fingers like that. And there's going to be a separate thumb. So sometimes people might have their pattern with uh, nothing on the wrist and they kind of like sew the hand on. Uh, my pattern has the hole in the seam on the outside. So, the point here is that I have to make sure that the wire goes in the right place. So, my seam is on the outside, but I want it over here. So, all I'm going to do is poke a hole. Right, that's about where I want it and here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and make a hole. That's it. Okay. Now it could go in. But I'm not going to do it yet because I want to show you one other thing. The legs, I don't want the seam to be the place where the hole is because the leg has to be this way. Otherwise, you know, you don't want your doll's feet to be pointing outwards. They're supposed to be pointing straight forward. So therefore, <clears throat> the place where I'm going to make this the hole is going to be like right there. I'm going to go ahead and just make that X. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to eyeball it. I know where it is. <clears throat> okay. Now, next thing I need to do again 
is go to the seam. Here I do want to be exact, so I'm going to make sure that I use my marker. This is, I could see on my pattern, I've got this little pointy area right there. You could really tell that that's the hip. Okay. Again, the next thing that I've got to do, this is going to be a little bit tricky. And you have to have some patience for this. Some patterns have a hole in the neck. But my pattern has the hole in the back. You see that? So I've got to go ahead and put the armature inside. And I don't mind I don't mind straightening the speed out because I, I'm gonna be able to feel it later and reshape it. So I'm just going to stick this in there, come out, this one, two, and pull it through. Carefully. That's the benefit of having this very malleable and flexible metal because you can always reshape it later. All right, so we see that the neck is definitely going to be perfect over there. And in order to get this arm in there, I am going to have to bend it quite a bit. Okay. Oh, you know what? Looks like I forgot to make a hole for the arm here. Show you what I do with that neck. Again, you should be able to do this with any pattern that you've got, as long as it's not too small. This pattern is about 23 inches from neck to the bottom of the torso, but you can do it with an 18 inch doll as well. Okay, now I'm going to have to actually bend that. show you one other thing. This is the back, so I want to make sure that I'm putting everything properly. Hey kitty.
Oops. Turn that around. Now, as I mentioned before, the arms are coming out at the seams because your hands are kind of down. Hey, kitty, that's not for you. Your hands are down. You're, they're not like this. But the feet are not flat like that or like that. They are like this. So even though it was bent going outwards before, that was for illustrative purposes. But you want to turn the leg so that it's not like that. It's got to be like this. And the seam goes in the front of the leg. Okay? But the hand has the seam at the side so that unless if you want the hands to be like this but I want them like that anyway so that's how you make an armature the next step here I'm just gonna put the wire inside of the toe but if you don't have a toe in your feet, that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and stuff the doll. Stuff the doll. Really firmly and slowly and carefully. And then close this, close up the holes. You might want to put a little bit of fray check on the edges just to make before you sew it so that it won't fray um, and then sew the limbs onto the torso and you'll be good to go now I'm gonna pause the video here and when I'm done I'll show you what it looks like